child, I developed a deep-rooted belief that I was too dumb to do math, science, or anything analytical. I remember in my teaching career the first time I was ever going to have to record grades on a computer. Huacatela. I knew how to type, but the vocabulary of hard drive, C drive, download, all of that was like a foreign language to me. And because I had such a negative belief about myself, it was very hard for me to make progress in technology. So I oftentimes asked for help. Nothing wrong with that, right? But here's how I asked for help. I would approach someone for help with a victim mentality. Hey, can you help me with this? We both know how dumb I am and I can't do it by myself. So I actually fed the thoughts, those negative thoughts and those negative beliefs with my words and with labeling myself. So I kept that belief alive and strong and that made it very difficult for me to grow in the area of technology or anything analytical. Did you know that when we label ourselves and affirm those negative beliefs, it's a form of pride? Yes, pride. Kind of hard to understand how a victim mentality and pride go hand in hand. But the truth is, when I labeled myself as a dummy and would approach someone to help me by labeling myself and whining in that way, I was drawing all the attention to myself. Pride. If you believe that you are substandard in any way, for example, what my body shape and size is, is more important than what I've got here and what I've got here, then it's time to repent. If you're like me that you believed I'm too dumb to do this, it's time to repent. Why? Because we need to express sorrow to God for believing a lie. For be When you go to the cross with your repentance, make sure you don't stay there. Jesus didn't. He died on the cross, but then he came back to life. He resurrected. So when you leave your sorrow at the cross, turn around and walk away engage with the resurrected Christ. If there is something in the message that resonates with you, and yet you say to yourself, I don't think I can navigate that on my own, I want to ask you to reach out to me through the contact form at yvonnevsanchez.com. Let's set up a conversation. I want to hear your story. And maybe there's something in my wheelhouse that I can help you with so you can have the joyful life that is rightfully yours. Healthy soul, joyful life.